Hi, I'm Dr. Sean Kinsey, and I'm one of the gastrointestinal pathologists here at Path AI Diagnostics, where I also serve as the laboratory director. When we think about IBD and we think about clinical trials, we have to think, what is the endpoint that the clinical trial is measuring? Well, there's a few things. One, there's the symptoms that the patient is having. Are they still having continuing symptoms, diarrhea, pain, bloating? The second one is, what do things look like endoscopically? And that's where most clinical trials stop. But if we think about that, that's really just a surrogate for what's happening on a cellular level. Why not just look at the cells? Let's look at the tissue, looking at the tissue on a cellular level. So we're very experienced in the area of NASH, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. And when we look at a liver biopsy, those liver biopsies have a scoring system associated with them. And even with that scoring system, there are still some intra-observer variability. With that variability, very minute changes in the pathologist's score can make a patient eligible or ineligible for a drug. The same can likely be said for inflammatory bowel disease. Once we get this new granularity and scoring established for a clinical trial, there are so many different levels of gradation of the histology that we previously really haven't embraced before on a large scale. Here at Path AI Diagnostics, we have a strong foundation in gastrointestinal pathology with our expertise in that area with multiple fellowship trained gastrointestinal pathologists on our staff. And once that digital image is generated, we are fully integrated with the AI site platform so that algorithms can be immediately deployed and evaluated on that platform. We have over a thousand GI biopsies coming in through our doors every single day. With that volume, there are certain advantages. We get to see rare entities every single day, or at least once a week. You've pretty much got an end-to-end -end service that is unmatchable anywhere else. We can process raw tissue, we can accept slides, we can perform the histology here on site. We have experts in gastrointestinal and liver pathology that can evaluate it and be part of the clinical trial. We have, of course, all the scanners on site so that once that slide is generated, you do have the digital images that can be read either on site or anywhere in the world. And the opportunities and discoveries that are waiting for us using these new technologies it's, it's a new world for us.